I'm going to give a short intro, and then the puppeteers take over, and then I take over again. So these are two different sets of wood carvings from two years. So the older one are these Dürer wood carvings in that are in the cafe and in that room behind here. And the other ones, this one here, are called implementation. These I did last spring, on uh, spring earlier than this one. And this is, um, you have to read the words. These are all slogans from the new party of the possibilitarians. That's the ones that dispose of the incompetent government continuously and uh, show people the thousand alternatives to the capitalist system. Uh, maybe you remember Margaret Thatcher and uh, Ronald Reagan were very good friends and they were very happy when the Berlin Wall came down and the Soviet uh, state was disassembled and they called that moment Tina, meaning there is no alternative. So we are countering this Tina with Tata. There are a thousand alternatives. <laughs> That's a possibilitarian slot. The uh, uh, New York Times celebrated that Tina announcement with an article that was entitled The End of History. So the finishing off of the Soviet state was considered the end of history meaning capitalism won, there can be nothing else. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do otherwise. So that's are these slogans. The Dürer ones that are in the coffee and in that room there, they are based on Dürer's apocalypse. So you know the apocalypse was written by the preacher John and Asia Minor, he was a preacher, a pretty important guy, good writer. Uh, but the, in essence, his writings were revenge writings. It's the heavenly powers coming down on the evil Knievels who don't follow this new Jewish sect called Christianity. <laughs> so uh, he and uh, get punished heavenly and hellishly and so forth quite an enterprise. <laughs> and Dürer was very young when he made these. He was born in the early 1470s, so he was 21, 22 when he started carving the apocalypse. It's the most powerful piece of wood carving in the history of wood carving. There's nothing like it in the world. It's so incredibly violent and intense. And a lot of the violence is simply the intensity of the carving, the depths, the, 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 the density of line, the curvature in the line, it's, it's un, unbelievable. There are other great wood carvers at that time. You may have seen Holbein, he was a great wood carver, Lukas Kranach, those people, but nothing can match this event of Dürer's apocalypse. So I felt it's time for a apocalypse again Ba, 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 pi, ba, ba. <laughs> so I did another apocalypse so with not Dura's imagination, slightly different. These are all carved in masonite sheets. Masonite is a uh, industrial wall building material, sort of for sub walls underneath sheetrock, and uh, way, way cheaper than any wood product. So you can get a four by eight sheet for, used to be $3, now it's probably $150, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's cheap compared to wood. Uh, and yeah, so that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes me about an hour to carve one of these and Dürer probably worked on his apocalypse, which are this size, for at least a couple of weeks. Uh, Thing. So there's a difference. You see a sloppy <laughs> one and a thousand one. And now we are going to start a demonstration of this show over there. All fixed past frozen relations with their chain of ancient venerable prejudices and opinions are swept away. All new formed ones become antiquated before they can ossify. All that is solid 
hell. And man is at last is held, held to face, to face with sober face senses. To with sober with senses. With sober senses. His real conditions of life and her relations with their kind. Post-apocalypse for a three-quarter empire without hesitation or finality, a big fat tale of falling and rising with citizens' travel guide to the unpromised land. Its hegemony crumbles. The three-quarter empire continues to militarize its problems. And here you see the hooves of violent forces doing the crumbling. Up, 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 down. down. A very general crumbling, which happens in the midst of unabashed prosperity. Extra legal democracy. Extra legal democracy. Extra legal democracy. Another war identifies and bombards the enemy even if the enemy is a funeral or wedding party in a largely unknown, distant sphere of interest. Riot, Riot sky, sky, basic, basic is awake. Riot, Riot hour. The party is over. The celebrants have become victims who are no longer able to complain to the victors. Earth, Earth bread, rain, 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 ah, and needs. Since the traditional resources for economy and war are exhausted, the empire must violently possess the leftovers. The oligarchs in charge of leftover distribution carefully manage the new world order, which is the old world order. The survival of the fittest. The public is made to attend the theater. The public is made to attend the theater. The theater is the theater of war. And here you see the executives of the everything. The truly important messengers of now. The passionately wrong is riding high. Crumbling, crumbling the, the city, city under, under its, its hooves. Tonight's performance is a rerun. Of the popular show, Regime Change. The actors are all distinguished graduates. Of, of the, the School, school of, of Permanent, Permanent War. war. What you see here is the unseeable, the black and white pain of torn apart entities, whether architectural or human, the dust that emits from the shambles of the performance performed for a blindfolded audience. Peace, yes, bread, bread listen, listen, mind, bye bye. bye. Here are two of Durer's apocalyptic writers. The substance of the performance is comfort, comfort the, the comfortable, comfortable and, and afflict, afflict the afflicted. Our is risk, ah, resist, resist, breath, our. The actual high up horseback riding disaster in thin air. The above occurrence above the three quarter empire. As, as yet, yet undetected. undetected Unimagined. Up, Up bread, bread, aura, hunger, hunger we. we. 
a piece of silence that requires no commentary. At the same time, the undetected entire upheaval from within. The within, which contains the mind and heart. Of not only disorder and rejection, but also the possibilitarian model of the new. The, the sourdough, sourdough and, and potato, potato patches, patches of, of the, the new. The frolicking socialist masses, freed from the yoke of the money-only economy. statement. Number one. Mission is what you are not necessarily capable of, but is the itch that enables you by urging you on. Two, the ruthless critique of 6,000 years of everything human that resulted in the communist revolution is not finished. The human revolution against human management is not over. Three, the current disarray of the left is a puppet show. Only a puppet show can solve this dilemma. Hey! <laughs> The project of puppet shows isn't to make a living. To make a living is a simple little byproduct of the actual project, which is the jolly, or not so jolly, dismantlement. of 
There is no alternative capitalism which ruins the planet. Turn to puppetry. Mother of the under and oversized features of humanity, that is history. <laughs> No, six. A deeper understanding of the unmanaged garbage of civilization inspires the art of puppetry. Puppetry rises from the garbage as Phoenix rises from the ashes. chisels away at humdrum ordinariness. And art is in danger of losing this directness again and again. <laughs> of puppet shows obliges puppetry to make bread the ultimate useful object. <laughs> of the 15th and 16th centuries, and that's the peasants who Dürer lived with. And that's the prison peasants that he saw slaughtered because they rose up in giant crowns ready for revolution. And then the losers and the reformers sided with the aristocracy and slaughtered them. industrial workers of the Russian Revolution, they got their strengths from their sourdough white bread. <laughs> Corrupt 
the postmodern world immediately and resolutely by feeding it peasant bread and under and over life-sized puppet shops. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I, want to say, um, I want to mention that the person who initiated these uh, Woodcut exhibits here in Vermont is not here. Alexis Smith, her mother, is very sick. So she meant to be here. She initiated this and quite a few other shows all over Vermont of these two exhibits, the Dura one and the, the Possibilitarian one. Thank you. Now come to Brendan Ayoli.